Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is eject our existing card, or you can shut it down and take it out, whatever, whatever way you wanna do it. But go to storage, select your micro SD card, and hit the Y button for eject, or click it if you have a mouse. Sometimes this doesn't work. Most of the time you click eject and the micro SD card just disappears and you're safe to take it out. Sometimes though, you hit eject and nothing happens. And then you go back and go back into storage again. And it's got some weird setting, like what is that? I don't even know what that is. So for safety's sake, we're gonna go ahead and just power the machine down and then take the card out. Let's just shut the machine down to be safe. Again, if eject works, great. Okay, now we can eject our original micro SD card and put in our new micro SD card. And we'll power it back up. Okay, now we're gonna go back to settings and system and we're gonna go ahead and format the SD card using the built-in formatting tool. Okay, so we're going to uh, speed this up a little bit because it took quite a bit of time here and it'll take even longer depending on how big of a card you have. It'll test it first, make sure that it's good and then format it uh, in the proper format. So now it's finishing up the format and we're done. Great. Now, if we go look at storage, you should see an empty micro SD card uh, ready to go to install games on. Great. That means we've done everything right and the micro SD card is good to go. Okay. We're now going to go on over to desktop mode. Okay. Back on desktop mode, we are going to insert our old micro SD card into our card reader, and you should see it pop up here and there'll be a mountain open. Go ahead and do that. And you will now see if we go to the Dolphin File Manager, you have two primaries. Kind of easy to get them confused. We're gonna go over and hit split. Okay, so now we have them both in their own side. We have the old card and the new card. The new card has more free space, obviously, than the other card. So we're gonna go ahead and select all the folders outside of Lost and Found and left drag them over onto the new card. You can either hit move or copy, doesn't really matter. You might as well move them because we are going to uh, erase this card and make it suitable for another device. So go ahead and select apply to all and write into, then hit apply to all and overwrite. Now we're ready to let this guy do its business. Now this, depending on your card reader and your card speed and a million other factors, this could take a few minutes to a few hours. Okay, we went ahead and just zoomed it right along here and we're finishing up the last few seconds of the copy. Okay, now we're pretty much done here. Um, all of your stuff is on the new drive now and let's go ahead and prepare that drive for use somewhere else. So we're gonna go ahead and type in part in our search and we're gonna open KDE Partition Manager. And you'll need your pseudo password. If you don't have one, open up your console and type in passwd. Okay, so this is a partitioning tool. We're gonna use this to erase the ext4 partition on the old card so that we can use it for something else. MMC BLK0 is your new card. You're probably gonna be able to tell which one is your old card by looking at the size. We're going to unmount it first because there's nothing we can do with it while it's mounted. Then we are going to delete that ext4 partition, create a new partition, and we are going to inevitably use XFAT because that's got the most compatibility across all devices. But if you know you're gonna use this for Windows, NTFS, FAT32 are okay as well. But we're gonna use XFAT, leave everything as default, hit okay. And we must of course hit apply before any of this actually happens. So now what we end up having is a micro SD card that is now usable in any other device. Whereas if it was ext4, the other devices wouldn't even see it and you might be confused. Okay, so now we've wiped out the old card and it's now ready for use somewhere else. And you can see it's right here. So we can go ahead and remove it now. That's it. Now we're left with just our brand new card. So let's go ahead and make sure that everything moved over there. We'll go back to gaming mode. 
and we will go again down to storage and take a look. Go to the micro SD card and you'll see all your stuff is safe and sound right where you left it. Okay, listen, I hope this helps you out. Uh, if it did, please help us out. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm Shane Armandro. Thanks always so much for watching and take care.